also we had um, kidnapping insurance taken out on us. Did, yeah, these are the kind of things you don't what? necessarily want to hear about. We're fighting and he's there. What if I poke him in the eyes like the Three Stooges? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, try it. Yeah, so you do it like that. Yeah. And the stun guy comes over and he goes, um, Odette, can you do me a favor? When you're punching, can you not do this? <laughs> I mean, Rachel was absolutely incredible, but I heard Rachel going, oh, this is the end of my career. <laughs> you know? So here we are, a few years later. Um, has it, how has it felt to see such love for this film and this franchise and your characters continue? The Mummy, you know, was basically my first job. Uh, it, it's, you know, I started off doing The Mummy and thinking to myself, so, so this is my life, you know, doing these kind of movies. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Um, it's, it's so fabulous. It's fabulous that people are still enjoying it, still loving it. Their kids are loving it. Of course, you feel slightly old. Yeah, yeah. How did that happen? Yeah, it's, uh, that you was know. quick. A lot, we've been saying the car ride over here, like a lot of, oh, my mom really loves the, the <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> yeah, today I get a lot, a lot of autographs for, you know, oh, Emma, is that you? No, 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 it's for my mom. Oh, okay, sure, yeah, absolutely, yeah, I'm good with moms, so. Uh, do you remember kind of your stunt training? Sure, uh, there, you know, there was fighting, but my stunt man was awesome. There, were, there was, you know, the gunplay and all that, and uh, what else? We'd, horses. Remember, there's a lot, we got on, no, no, it was camels at first, but the camels are really boring. <laughs> so we got on horses after all just to break it up. Because camels are dumb. <laughs> I, I, nobody trusted me to ride a horse. Uh, so on the first film, uh, it was so incredibly embarrassing, because I don't know if you remember the scene uh, in the campgrounds yeah. where you pull out the, the dynamite stick, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, I'll get on my horse and just tell you, you know, stop fighting, and get out of here, or we'll all die, something. And uh, we're shooting the scene, and they bring up these apple boxes, and they actually have me standing on the apple boxes with my leg over the horse, and they go, action, I sit down, I say, yalla, imshi, and then I, I'm like, I wanna ride off, and they're like, no, 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 don't move, don't move. Get the stun guy in. You're not and, ready, you're not ready. And it was that embarrassing, which is what caused me to train a lot for the second movie. I was and gonna in say, the I bet you movie, learned. I got to do everything myself. But I remember your boots. Okay, okay, the, the reason I had heels is because if you look at this guy, okay, the first people you meet when you do a movie is you meet the costume department, right? You gotta get your costume going. And I'm standing there and I think to myself, oh, you know, pretty impressive, uh, six foot one, almost. And, uh, no, no, it's six foot one. And, uh, and they're like, okay, we gotta do something about this guy. Let's give him some heels. And he's wearing a dress, and not tall enough, we'll put some big something on his head, so when he stands next to Brendan... So that's... So that was my... Uh, so for the next two movies, I'm running around with heels and a dress. Singing. La, 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 la! Singing. Yeah. Can, with, can, a little bit? No! No, I just can't. can't. Dude, what are you doing to me? I got bosses. I'll, I'll give you a, a, a beat. Oh, Ted Fair came one day. He said, Brendan, what do, why do I punch like a girl? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. He brought it up. Okay, he brought it up. Yes, yes. When we did the first fight scene on The Mummy, we were on the car traveling through these, all these zombie guys are jumping on the car, and I'm throwing punches, and the stun guy comes over and he goes, um, Odette, can you do me a favor? When you're punching, can you not do this? It's not as effective. No, no, no. It was, it was classical training, theater training in theater, you know, to, to kind of swing the punch backwards, but on camera it looks like this. I just let the stuntman do it. He's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So. Um, look, I loved playing Rick O'Connell. I had a great time doing that. I, I, there was so much big toys to play with. We had no idea what kind of movie we were making. We thought that it was a straight ahead action movie, part horror movie, sometimes slapstick comedy, romance, adventure. I, I can still hear, you still hear Rachel? 
She'd be like, oh, now they're going to confiscate our equity cards. <laughs> and I'm like, well, fine, I'm over here like a beaver just chewing up scenery. I think we'll get through it together, you know? Um, I loved it, though. I loved it. We were, we were, we were on location in, um, in, in the deserts of, of Marrakesh in Morocco, and that's where Lawrence of Arabia was, was shot and conceived. I had that wide-open vista. You remember that when we were... Yeah, what was it? It was Air Food in the desert. Oh, oh yeah. And you oh, yeah. remember that one mountain range? And we'd be driving home on these uh, little roads that had piles of white rocks that were painted white. There were no lights or anything. And uh, over the mountain range, the, the, my driver, Rashid, was like, and you see that mountain range over there? If you go past that mountain range, you'll never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm like, eyes front. <laughs> I, I remember. I remember that one time when there was uh, our set got flooded. Do you remember that? There was all of a sudden like torrential rains. Was that in the second one? The first one? I don't remember. I just remember that they brought over military helicopters. Yeah. We also we had um, kidnapping insurance taken out on us. Did... Yeah, these are the kind of things Wait, you don't necessarily want to hear about. The, the, you, you, the late Jim Jackson, who was the producer, was a real talk. He was like, yeah, we're going to take our kidnap insurance, like a million bucks on you, and a million bucks on Rachel, and, and Kevin It was 125 35 on me. Uh, no, yeah. but no, Kevin, oh. Kevin J. O'Connor goes, I just want to ask, how much did you take out on me? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what he said. He was like, I don't know, 250 <laughs> But that'll really mess with your self-esteem. Maybe I'm well aware. There's more than one mummy movie. There are three. So you both. Uh... Two, two. Yeah, well, as far yes, as I remember. I know I, that's fair. I, I don't. I only remember the two. All right. I don't know. Yeah, but only two. Was oh, there a third one? No, I, no. I there's only two. Yeah. Only two. Um, but you did get to both. You got to return to your to your roles just the the second time only. Um, <laughs> and that, but that's not something, you know, you, you get to do always. Uh, what was it like to come back with the knowledge, you know, of having played the characters and getting to develop them? It was like going back for another semester of college. <laughs> because we just finished and they went, nope, get back here. And we turned out, and, and you, you were the second movie. Oh, Dad, you held the fort down. And I want to say thank you, public, to everyone. He did. He stayed in, he stayed behind. We all buggered off back to London with our air conditioning, and he, you know, he was stuck out there with the horses instead of the. Um, yeah, no, he no. did. He, he, uh, I gotta. I love you, man. That oh, was thank you, man. I that was it. Not easy. it was. It was very funny because I, I didn't really know the schedule as far as everybody else is concerned or whatever. I just knew I'm going to Morocco for quite a while, and we're there, and they're shooting, and they're shooting, and I get to like, hey, how you guys doing? Good to see you. And they're like, all right, have a good time. And they all buggered off, and I'm there by myself with the stunt guys. But it was, it was really fabulous. It was really fabulous. I loved it. Yeah, no, Arnold, Arnold was very, uh, very funny. I, I just, just working with this guy as my first job, and again, I, I grew up feeling like I'm relatively good-sized uh, and, uh, you know, slightly uh, fit. And then I stand next to this guy in my high heels and dress. And the director goes, okay, so you have to stop him and tell him, you know, live today, fight tomorrow, right? And, and I'm like grabbing his shoulder and I'm like, this is cement. It's like, it's like, I try to do this. I think you can even see the pictures we signed. You can just see me behind his shoulder going, fight today, you know, live today, fight tomorrow. You know, it's, like, it's just, this guy is so powerful. And the funny thing is we're taking pictures and I'm, he's still the same thing. Before, uh... Uh, we end this, you have to stand next to each other so we can see this size difference. Oh. <laughs> he, Hi, Mom. That, that was my bucket list. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, but I want to hear like, how, what it was like working with Rachel on these films. She's Rachel, fantastic. She's fantastic. Thank you. Rachel was brilliant. She was ready for everything. She played it with heart. She got down to the nitty gritty of being the kick ass librarian who just rules the day, you know? She wasn't scared of a ladder. <laughs> Rachel was, is, she's wonderful. She's just wonderful. And she, she was missed on the third one. And and, and, no, hang on. <laughs> I 
there's an elephant in the room. <laughs> Maria's great too. But she wasn't Rachel, and I think I'm not, you know what I mean. Yes, yes. So anyway, who's... Anyway, camels, camels. Um, who saw the fourth one? <laughs> I love it. Um, Too soon? <laughs> one of the scenes uh, of when we were on the bus, do you remember when we were on the bus on the second one, and we're fighting the mummies on the bus? And uh, they were like, okay, so Brendan has a stunt guy that he's working with, and um, we can't really fit the stunt guy in here, so you just throw yourself around. <laughs> and I swear to God, there was nobody there, and I was just like an idiot, just throwing myself ah, against the ah, walls. Ah, ah. Uh, and it worked. And I didn't have uh, anybody complain about my... Uh... And I, I, was, I was fighting an imaginary half-mummy because CG put it in later, and I, I had a brilliant idea on the day we're doing, like, we're fighting and he's there, what if I poke him in the eyes, like the Three Stooges? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, try it, yeah, so you go, like that. Yeah. It was like revolutionary, oh my God. <laughs> we'll just put the goo in later, it'll be great. <laughs> we know how hard the mummy is to make. I tried to do it three times. We had no idea when we shot the first mommy that it's going to be what it ended up being. We, we had no idea, and, and he's not kidding. I mean, Rachel was absolutely incredible, but I heard Rachel going, oh, this is the end of my career, you know? <laughs> it's like she, she gave it all. She was incredible and wonderful, but we, nobody had any idea, and I was just happy to be there. You know, it was like, for me, it was my first job. I was like, oh, my God. But we, nobody knew what it would be like.